Hi everyone, we hope you're doing okay and that yourselves and your loved ones are all safe and healthy. This week we'll be looking at some stretches and self-massage techniques that focus on the hands and the arms. It's actually really surprising how much tension builds up in these small muscles here, these flexors and extensors of the wrist. And in order to avoid things like repetitive strain injury and carpal tunnel syndrome, which is, is in the wrist area, we want to really try and stretch these out and mobilize this area so that tension doesn't build up. Now, we've already said it's great to move about, to get some movement and flexibility into the wrists and the arms during the day, but what we're gonna show you are a few simple stretches and massage techniques which you can quickly do while still sitting at your desk. So let's start by looking at some easy stretches you can do. Bunch your hand up into a little fist, think angry baby, and hold for a few seconds. Then release the fist and stretch your fingers out as wide as possible. Give your hand a good shake and repeat. You can do it two or three times to get things moving. The second stretch is a wrist extension and flexion. Reach one arm straight out in front of you and point your fingers up towards the ceiling. You can use your free hand to pull the fingers back towards you and hold for a few seconds. Then let the hand flop down with the fingers pointing down to the floor and again use the free hand to add some pressure drawing the fingers back. After a few seconds release the hand and rotate the wrist clockwise and then anti-clockwise. You can repeat on the other side and this is a great stretch for the forearms and wrist. This next technique looks at the forearms. If you have a tennis ball lying around you can use that. But if not, a tin from your cupboard will do. Place one arm on your desk or any flat surface with the palm facing down. Use the other arm to slowly roll in circular motions from the elbow all the way down to the wrist with the tennis ball. You want to stay on the muscle and avoid any joints or bony areas. Going from the elbow to the wrist should take about 20 to 30 seconds and you can always pause on areas that are particularly sticky. If you don't have a ball or a tin, you can just use your forearm as Claire is now showing. You can do this movement once or twice before moving on to the other side and this gliding motion with the forearm will really release all those muscles in the arm. If you feel like you're not quite getting enough pressure sitting down, stand up and lean into it a bit more. Again, using the tennis ball, going down the forearm in circular motions. Where you feel those little bits of discomfort and pain, is probably where the muscle is particularly tight. So spend a little bit more time on these spots, either with the tennis ball or working through with the forearm. And again, applying more pressure onto those areas that are a little bit sore. Claire will now demo some simple massage techniques. Take off any jewelry that can be easily removed. Place your right thumb on your pulse point and your first two fingers around your left wrist. From here, circle your thumb slowly up the side of your hand and keep on circling up through the little finger. Now slowly circle around each finger and once you reach the top of the finger, you want to gently pull it to mobilize the joint. You might hear a few clicks and pops, but resist the urge to force it. And you can do this once or twice before moving on to the other side. Make sure you give your hand a good shake at the end. If you are finding these videos useful, do feel free to share them with anyone who you think may benefit from them. As always, if you've missed any of our videos, you can catch them across our social media platforms. Have a great week and thank you so much for watching.